Hello, and welcome to Borough TV. I'm Jamo K. Carr. He's in a prison of a different kind. Hillsborough senior Darrell Ball isn't behind bars, but an athletic eligibility rule is keeping him chained to the bench this year. And now, time is running out. The last regular season game is Friday, and with no senior highlight clips to show scouts, Darrell's scholarship chances are fading away. Borough TV's Devron Inslee has the story. What if the opportunity of a lifetime was slipping through your fingers? It's just hurting that I can't play my senior year, and it's affecting me scholarship-wise because I can't get into the big schools without um, senior film. He is a running back slash receiver, which is uh, what people are looking for now. Uh, without any film of the senior year, uh, it's going to be a hard sell. Somebody's got to go on blind faith. He's missing out on a chance to show what, what he can do, and, um, and really without any kind of Highlight films, all he, all he has to go by is what his junior, junior season was. And it's all because of this. Rule G in Section 12 of the TSSAA Handbook. The rule says a student is eligible for transfer if it's the first time the student changes residence from one parent to the other as a result of a court-ordered custody change. Here's the catch. The student's former principal has to write a letter stating the transfer was not for athletic or disciplinary reasons. So you're telling me all Darrell needs is a letter so he can play football. That's, that's it. Tony Majors, the Assistant Superintendent of Student Services for Metro Nashville Public Schools, said in a statement, quote, I attested Darrell Ball was not expelled from Hillwood High School for violations of the MNPS Student Code of Conduct. But in this case, that's not good enough. If the principal doesn't send a letter, then you're not going to play. And it could be for anything. You don't have to produce any evidence. Uh, there's no letter, you know, letter required saying why you refuse to write the letter. So it all comes down to that one letter, a letter that still hasn't been written. But I just feel like it's too much power for one person to have over a child's future. In Tennessee, the sad part about it is you can't even appeal a case until November the 15th, which is basically two or three weeks after the regular season's over with. One man should be able to uh, hold another child's future in his hands. One rule, one letter. One player, one dream, and one story that isn't over yet. He has more courage than anybody I know right now. And he just keeps fighting every day in practice, and um, I love him for it. Reporting for Bureau TV, I'm Devron Ensley. Tony Majors also said that it's not up to the district to determine eligibility. That's the job of the TSSAA. And as you heard Devron say, they can't do that without the letter.